I think the first time that I actually discovered what couture even was, was when I was a child and I first watched Breakfast at Tiffany's. I remember seeing Audrey Hepburn standing in the front of the window at Tiffany & Co, eating her croissant and the dress, the, the famous little black dress. I remember seeing that and thinking, for the first time as a child, and I was probably seven or eight years old, and I remember thinking, who made that dress? And it looks like it was made just for her. And that was the very first time that I delved into it, investigated and discovered that it was a couture piece designed by Givenchy for Audrey Hepburn. And I think that that moment and my fascination with that one dress was the beginning of my love affair with couture. My couture book is, I think, in many ways, something that is more than just about the fashion. And in many ways, couture is beyond fashion. It's wearable art. There are incredible pieces that are created, like, uh, you know, a sculptor would sculpt a piece, like a painter would paint an incredible artwork. That's how I see couture, and that's how a lot of collectors see the pieces. That's how the masters in the ateliers who create these pieces see them too. And it's very shrouded in tradition and privacy and, and it's just very bespoke. And that's what I thought was very interesting and would be fascinating to someone who wanted to read or delve more into this world. To discover what it is that actually goes on behind those incredible atelier doors. My memories of sketching and working with Couture are some of my most memorable. There's something about Couture Week, especially in Paris. Not just the garments, but the theatre and the drama of how those collections are shown have become as incredible as the pieces. And it's an honour, I think, to be invited into that world and to be able to see a collection come to life. When I think of one of the most incredible collections that I worked with. It was for Fendi. Seeing the collection before it actually was shown on the runway and knowing a little bit of the behind the scenes of what was the inspiration for that collection just made, you know, working with Fendi and working with those pieces all the more special. So much of Couture is, is now all around the world, but I do still think of Paris as the heart of couture. Sketching live for Dior Couture was an incredible highlight. It's not just the pieces, it's the world that surrounds it and it's the incredible collectors that you meet, the people that actually buy and select and choose these items. I think that in itself is very fascinating. And you know, a lot of collectors are incredibly diverse people. They obviously have the means to be able to collect couture, but they're fascinating. Everyone from astronauts to entrepreneurs to incredible people within the theatre and, and Hollywood. I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing world. And just to, I think, capture a glimpse of that world, that's what I hope people really enjoy in this book.